In this video, I will show you how to register a FortiGate firewall to FortiCloud account or to FortiNet portal. For this demo, we are running on FortiGate 40F model with firmware version which is 7.6.2. Under Licenses, if we hover our cursor to Support, it shows that this device is not yet registered. There are few ways on how to register a FortiGate device. We can either do it here or on the FortiCloud account. I'll show you two methods on how to do it. Also, if we look at the firmware updates and security features, it shows that the, the license expired. By the way, this device is newly out of the box. You can check my other video on how to enter the FortiGate license. We can also check the device registration by going to System. FortiGuard. We can open to another tab. Same results, not registered. We can also check the security services from here. We can register here or through the dashboard. Now, let's right click on support. Choose register. We are now at FortiCare registration. You can also see the device license here. If you already have a FortiCloud account then you can log in from here directly. If you don't have an account then choose create account. However, I noticed that some of the users will encounter some issues if they directly create an account here. If you want to create an account then open another tab. Go to support.fortinet.com. You can also log in from here if you already have an account. Choose create account if you don't have one. You must enter a valid email address because you will receive the verification code. Tick create account to proceed. Tick the box to verify then tick get email verification code. Activation required. We need to check the email address for the verification code. Open your email address used to sign up. You should have received this registration email address. We can copy the code. Let's go back to the Fortinet portal then paste the code. Click next to proceed. Enter your desired password. Your password must have minimum of 8 characters, numbers, both uppercase and lowercase, and some special characters. Next to proceed. Login credentials have been created. However, we need to complete the registration or else we will lose our account and we need to begin from the start again. We can only fill up those with asterisk. No need to enter your correct details if you don't want but make sure to fill up the necessary details. You can read the Fortinet service terms and conditions then you must tick the box to agree. Accept to proceed. Success. Your FortiCloud account has been successfully created. This email address will be used to receive the security code for the next login. Two-factor authentication has been automatically enabled and by default it's using the email address. So every time you log in, after you enter your username and password then you need to check your email for the verification code. Click complete to finish. We will be redirected to the login page. Under login as. Choose email user. Now, enter the email address used to create an account. Enter your password then tick login as email user. Now, it will ask for the code. Check your email address, SMS or the 40 token mobile application for the code. Again, we did not change the two-factor authentication setting so by default we will receive the code through the email address. Let's go back to the email tab. You must have received this email from Fortinet customer service and support with the token code. We will copy the six digits token code. Go back to the Fortinet login page then paste the code. Click go to proceed. We have now successfully created a FortiCloud account. We can now start registering Fortinet products. We must register products to receive FortiGuard services and contact customer support. We are not eligible to do that without device or devices registered to our account. To register a device from here. We can tick register now. We need to enter either one of the following. Product serial number. This can be found on the physical device, on the device box, on the dashboard or using command. We can also enter the service registration code. This can be found on the service registration document. Also, we can use the license certificates or asset transfer token. Under the end user type. Choose if it's government user or non-government. We will choose a non-government user. Click next to proceed. Alternatively, we can do it on the device itself. Open your browser and log in to the Fortinet device. Before you proceed, 
make sure that the device is connected to the internet. If you don't know how to configure FortiGate then you can check my other videos. To check if the device is connected to internet. We can open the CLI. We can try to ping any website. We can ping Fortinet.com. We have a response so it means this device is already connected to the internet. You can ping different website if you prefer. Since this device can access internet then we can now proceed with the registration. Let's go back to the dashboard. Under licenses. Right click on support. Choose register. Since we already have an account then we can log in using our FortiCloud account. Enter the FortiCloud email address and password used to sign up. Choose your country or region. You can scroll down to select or you can use the search option. For the reseller, we cannot leave it as blank and we don't have the option for none or personal. You can choose anything. No worries this will not show on your account, it's only for registration. Again, you need to choose if non-government or government user. You can enable this option if you want to manage this Fortinet device on your FortiCloud account. We can also enable this option if we want to use the FortiCloud account to log in to the firewall instead of using the admin account. Click OK to proceed. You can read and tick the box to agree to the FortiCare terms and conditions. We will receive a notification that the FortiCare has been registered. This means that the device is already registered to our FortiCloud account. If we check the license support, it shows that it's still not registered. Let's refresh the page. Notice that the color has been changed to green the status changed to registered. You can also see here your FortiCloud account and hardware license expiration date. Your device will still be registered under your account even though the license expires. Some of you might be wondering why other features are still unread or expired. This is because we just registered the device to our FortiCloud account. These are for security features which requires a license. You can check my other video on how to enter or activate a FortiGate license. Let's go back to the FortiNet portal. The device should appear here since we already registered it under this account. Let's refresh the page. We can now see that we have one product which is FortiGate. We can click on it to view the details. We will be redirected to the product list. You can see here all the devices registered on this account. All the details will be listed here. The serial number. The product model. Description can be added. Expiration date and registration date. At the top. We also have the option to register another device. Just tick register more and follow the process we did earlier. I hope by now you know how to register a Fortinet device. Well. That's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.